The brief was to give the client more area to, to allow them to run simultaneous events at the same time and to, to give it a greater visual presence and, and to give it the fresh look. The building's used from anything, um, from the X Factor to party conferences, fine dining, trade fairs. We needed to create something that, that looked like a hotel but could take 10,000 people which obviously made it a challenging brief. More space, more rooms, a large restaurant, um, and basically connect the facilities that they've already got. The main thing we wanted to do was to create a grand entrance. We also created a, a secondary entrance, so obviously it can run more things at once. And we also wanted to uh, connect three buildings and give the site a visual coherence. The idea behind the, uh, the large canopy was try and draw people up from the lower level. It has a 13 metre long asymmetrical canopy. It's a steel structure, we need to know how it would behave uh, and it turns out that uh, the left hand corner we had to uh, increase that height by 120mm and that, that settled as we expected when we put the stone on it. The biggest considerations was uh, design for access. Primary approach to the main doors is, is, is obviously the stepped access but there's two sweeping ramps either side of that. This part of the scheme already existed, we just took that into account into the new design. When you get beyond the main entrance, you walk through, you look up, and you see this enormous arch. I, th I think it's breathtaking. We also got involved with the reception desk design. We might have organisers checking thousands of people into an event, so we needed to make sure that the desks were very large and compliant. DDA was a very important element, um, including the visual contrast of materials uh, and the texture of materials. The building's a very deep plan, so we wanted to make sure that we could maximise daylight throughout the space. One of the things we were doing when we were designing where roof lights are going to sit is make sure that you get a glimpse of the train hall or you get a glimpse of the surrounding context, so you always know where you are. The ceilings incorporate a lot of acoustic treatment, which is a, a, a very nice pattern ceiling, and we wanted to make sure that we didn't have any uh, access hatches spoiling the aesthetic. One of the difficult things in this brief was the the fact that there's a lot of voids under the site. There's uh, two levels of car parking, there's tunnels, plant rooms, there's even a, a redundant canal. So we had to be very careful in, in, in where we put our point loads, where we put the columns and foundations. The building achieved Brian very good. When I walk into the building, I'm extremely proud, especially when, when you're walking around and you see people stood trying to figure out how they the canopy stands up or they, they take photographs of the canopy or it's, it's, it's just great. The, the thing that really makes me proud is the, is, is, is the detail. All, all the materials and the workmanship and the, the attention to detail. Uh, when I walk around the site I look at those things and then I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome. The feedback we've received um, is that they love the building. Uh, it's been received very well by their clients. They're getting great feedback and, uh, and apparently um, business is booming. I think chartered architectural technology should shout about what they do. They turn the wildest concept into a real building on site and it's a very rewarding process.